so my name is uh, Valeria Makijenko, Makijenko. <laughs> Sometimes I'm being called uh, Valeriha, it depends on where you are. Uh, so I'm really glad to continue the stories that were told today, because you will see a lot of uh, common things mentioned. And if you hear common things, it means that it's actually truth, that it's something that you can uh, believe on. Uh, so I'm representing uh, IT industry for uh, 13 years. It wasn't a cautious decision to join tech. I actually really wanted to go to uh, construction and be an uh, engineer uh, making the houses because I wanted something very, very difficult. Uh, but uh, my friend said, just try to apply for computer sciences as well. You might like it. I applied and I got in. And uh, during the first semester, I just fall in love with the tech for two reasons. First one, I was amazed that just by using your hand and hats and the computer, you can solve problems. Because in construction, you need to tons of material, you need tons of people. And here, you're kind of al almighty person that can do it. And the second one, I love the people. I like the mindset of real tech people because we're really uh, solution oriented. We don't like blah, blah, blah. We're just like, let's do it. Let's go. OK, failed. Let's reflect and move on. And this is what uh, this uh, spoke to me a lot. Uh, today, um, I have quite big responsibility. I'm, re I'm working in Visma, which is an international company. And I'm responsible for three products. Uh, we're making uh, lots of money. Uh, and we are four, uh, 50 people uh, distributed in uh, seven, I think, yes, seven countries. And we are serving more than a million users. Uh, just recently in the summer, I was promoted uh, from just development manager, someone who is responsible for making the software happen uh, for, uh, for commercial responsibility as well. Uh, so now I'm being asked not when this will be done, I'm being asked uh, how much we earn on that and why this one, which is for me so uncomfortable because I'm used to be in development, uh, but uh, I will cope with that. Uh, I also do, I'm a lecturer at Riga Technical University. Uh, I love to work with students and also in uh, Baltic Computer Academy. And uh, I believe we all should have superpowers and work to, if you don't, but you, you, you always work to have them. And uh, my superpowers are people, uh, business analysis and agile. So I, I always feel confident uh, to, with these areas. Uh, on the other side, I really like to travel, and works help. Uh, we travel a lot with uh, my husband. My husband is also from tech, uh, so usually in the evenings we do speak about work uh, a lot. Uh, but, we love, but we love it. Uh, yeah, so today I just want to give you some trip and ticks uh, of uh, how I treat career and how I treat my time. Uh, and uh, usually when we speak about career, we imagine this ladder, or uh, that there is, will be one step, then time goes, there will be another step, and then you're supposed to grow. I look a bit different. I think that very important is that you invest a lot. And uh, Anna today in the morning said that somehow girls didn't keep up in IT, that we have more students, or we, uh, but uh, when they go to work or they start to study, they uh, very uh, often do not get through. And I think this is because we just don't invest enough of our energy and also time and sometimes money uh, to be better, to strive and to show the guys that uh, we can be respected and we do a lot, a lot of uh, value. And this is how I always think about my time and what I do. I always uh, uh, think about this exponential growth or accelerated growth. What I can do today as much as possible so in the long term uh, I will get this exponential result of it. For example, in the beginning of my career I never was uh, thinking about the um, bigger salary. Uh, I had my salary that, uh, that was offered. It was okay for a student. Uh, and I never thought that I should choose a company because of the bigger salary. My instinct was I need to choose the company that gives me the challenge, that has some kind of uh, setup that can help me grow, because when you're on the third course of university, you don't know 
what is IT about and what you can uh, make it happen. So for me, oh, priority never was um, getting criteria to choose the job or role uh, was the salary. Uh, but in time, it's also helped me because now I still not care about much because with all those promotions and more responsibility, it, it comes uh, naturally. And I think especially if you're in the beginning of your career, if you don't have kids yet, uh, you don't have mortgage, uh, then try to find the place which will boost your growth rather than just having the higher salary, which nowadays is quite easy to get uh, moving from one company to another company. But I think in long term, it will not work. The other example of uh, this one is uh, uh, about the respect. Uh, again, I remember six years ago uh, when entering new software development project fu full of people with more experience, it always took me a, a some time to gain their respect and trust towards my work because, of course, everyone has the stereotypes. If you're 27, probably you're not good as someone who is 40, which is not true in our industry, definitely. So it always, I always invested lots of time, lots of um, energy and creativeness to prove people that, uh, no, I am as good and sometimes even better than someone who has experience of 20 years. And it took, and uh, today, usually when I'm entering any project, everyone already knows that I'm quite good and I don't need to spend time on this uh, anymore. So it accelerates. Same with the presentations. In the beginning, it took me so much time to prepare for any talk and I spend a lot of time and, and also money uh, to train myself both the language, how to make slides, what are the tools to do it. And today, again, if someone asks me, can you prepare in a couple of hours? Yes, sure, because it's just easier because of that investment. Yes, and I also believe the more you can invest today, because, for example, work is your priority, do it. Because there will be a time when you will want to invest in your family or you will want to invest more in your hobbies. And then you will already have the settled career that uh, you will not be afraid to have year two or three years uh, um, off. Uh, uh, and you will, yeah. Uh, so today, as we are in the business conference, I decided to share with you three uh, portfolios that you might uh, think to invest. Uh, your time, energy, and maybe also money. And uh, it's uh, the first portfolio is the um, getting job done. We always need to make sure that we show that we do the progress. The second one is the competence, because IT is all about the competence, and also the contribution. And I will share you some examples of what I was doing and continue to do uh, through this uh, 13 years and some also notes. Uh, so getting the job done, and I also think it's very important to always give this extra effort and have this extra mile. It's not just about making your work done, but making it really qualitative and maybe also with your own twist and with your own style. So people start to associate you not just with done work, but with a particular, for example, creative work or very qualitative work. Uh, and this is the example about when I talk what it means to invest. Uh, just when I took over the development, one of the, as a development manager for the first time, uh, we had this task of reorganizing the whole, whole teams. And this is me at night <laughs> working at home on how to organize the teams. And with that, I want to say, if you take more responsibility, you need to be aware that you will need to invest more of your time uh, and energy to be better in this responsibility. And if you will just assume that during those eight hours that I supposed to work, it will be enough, it will not be. Because there is always this learning curve and you need to learn more and you need to do more in order to proceed with exponential growth. Oh, yes, one of the things that bothers me today when I speak with many, many employees and especially young talents that they sometimes feel that they come to work like I'm spending hours for the exchange of the salary. And I think this is wrong. I think we all work on being hired to get the results done. And we want to be associated not with the process, but with the done work. Because if you're associated with someone who just works for the sake of making activities, that's not good for you. Uh, next one, if you commit and you say you will do it, 
just really try to do it, especially in the beginning of your career. And if it takes you a bit longer time, don't think about it as something bad. Every time I stay late at work, it's much, much less today. Uh, I always treat it as the investment. Like, okay, I'm now staying to finalize something so I can on Monday uh, be more free uh, or spend or maybe even take the Monday off. Then it's also important when we think, when we talk about job to be done, we need to remember that we're usually part of the department, team, and, it's v and people start to notice if you don't care just about your results, but if you care about the others. And the more others succeed, actually, the more you succeed. So if you can find the time and energy to help also your colleagues to do the job better, uh, it will be definitely noticed as well. And also, if you really want to boost your career, then show that you're invested. And one of the way how to show it, it's uh, look for the new initiatives of how the company can be improved or the team can be improved uh, and uh, be proactive about it and show concrete examples how it can be done. Usually, again, HR and management, they really see people that are proactive and are ready to invest not just only in them, but also in the company's uh, well-being. And about the extra mile, uh, I think it's good to be creative when we do work, especially when tech is associated with innovation and creativity. Here are some examples uh, of what I and my colleagues were doing uh, about the investment. So last year, when I became responsible for international teams, I knew that I will ha need to fly. And all the flying, it's extra investment from our side because we usually fly in the early morning, we're coming back in the early evening, we spend hours in the airports, we eat what we can find on our way. So for me, it's definitely the investment. And I knew that I will fly a lot. I had agreement with my husband that it will happen for quite a while, but then it will be better. Uh, and I had many, many flights. But uh, for example, in August, I just said, I want to work remotely from Italy by the Lake Como. And no one said me no, because I've done a tremendous job through the year. And it's like, of course, you can do that. Uh, regarding extra mile, uh, again, communication is really difficult. When you're a manager and you want to send a clear message, you should use all the possible formats. And one of the formats that I decided to try out is to make this blogging because it's very popular. And I was making the business reviews and the week reviews uh, as a vlog. Again, for me, it would be much easier just to write an email uh, with the updates. Uh, but I decided, no, I want to be associated with this more creative work. And I really want to get those messages through. So I was sitting and uh, recording myself and afterwards editing the videos. And it actually was a huge success. Other example, if you don't know what is Kahoot, please uh, make a note. It's a very great way how to make surveys and quizzes. And at work, it uh, can be used in many, many ways. Uh, we were using it to explain a uh, new functionality that we have in the system. We're using it for learning opportunities. Uh, I'm using it to make sure that people know about the news that were uh, sent out. And again, you can do it boring or you can do it more exciting. Also, I think it's important when HR or somebody makes some kind of event, I would say like it, like if you don't like it or you like it, always participate because it again, it shows your investment that you just don't go to work to exchange your hours, but you're actually part of the community. You're part of the ideas that and part of the values that your company says. That's the example we had of the lemon day and you needed to have something yellow. Uh, I know there are a lot of stereotypes about women, but I'm not afraid of them. Uh, I think it's cool to break stereotypes, so you behave... Uh, and uh, this is the example. Um, so in September, we have Programmer's Day, 256 day in the year. And for a while, we had tradition. Uh, I and my colleagues were home baking uh, sweets for developers. Again, we could do just buy them, but we said no. We want to show that we really, really care about them. And it was the evenings full of uh, 
mess uh, preparing the stuff. Uh, this is the event for the girls uh, in spring. We have this uh, I, the girls in IT day. And uh, I was making a party and a huge uh, fuss uh, about it. And all the guys were asking, like, do you have some kind of uh, uh, religious group there? And I was like, no, it's just uh, girls in tech having fun. Again, it's not mandatory from you to do it. But when you do it, everyone feels that you're re really part of the organization. Next one, everyone mentioned today about the competence, because it's true, we're all about the competence in IT. And you really need to invest and make it as part of your DNA. Ideally, you want to be associated with the competence. So if somebody comes in the company and says, who can teach me, who knows, you want your name to be shout out. It really, really helps. And here are some examples again. As I mentioned, gain your superpower. Be something really good at something. So you're being also associated with that. And next, be also very well educated about the trends and the other disciplines. So if you're a developer, you should know about BA. You should know about project management. You should know, know a bit about uh, business. And the same if you're in software development, are either your sales, your managing director, your manager, I think we all should be tech. Uh, I never committed code line in my life, only in the university, uh, but I was always perceived as the technical person and many people always ask me like, so what language do you write? And I was like, English, Russian, Latvian, that's all. Uh, and uh, it's, today it's not difficult to be tech in tech shape uh, without deep tech uh, knowledge. We have very great uh, reports like Technology Radar by ThoughtWorks, where you just see all the technology that is being proved to be good, the other ones that you should not cons should be more cautious about. What you can do, you just take the report and ask your peers, do we use that? How we use that? And then you're getting associated with the cool stuff as well. There is the other uh, report that also shows uh, how the eff effective teams work. Books. It's good to find someone who you trust on Goodreads because there's so many books, not of them. All of them are good. Uh, and uh, also meetups is a very inexpensive way to gain the competence. Uh, you can download the meetup app, say that you are in Riga or in Vilnius, and they will be sending you the invites to all the relevant uh, meetups. That's a very nice way to network and gain the knowledge. And I always say, be friends with software engineers. Find someone who will always explain you stuff that you, maybe you don't want to ask uh, very loudly everyone. And I always had those engineers, developers, and architects that were always willing to help me uh, on educating me. And when I was asking them, they were actually felt that, oh my God, she cares. She's a manager, but she's asking me why we do this way, but not that way. Conferences. This is our, my two favorite conferences. One is in Budapest, Kraft. This one in Riga will be in uh, December this year as well. Uh, and regarding the conferences, there are again so many. You can always check the uh, live streams that very often are for free. And actually, yesterday, we can also get the scholarships for the conferences. If you Google Google scholarships for conferences, you will get a lot of uh, the list of conferences that Google sponsors, bo both the ticket and the um, travel. Uh, if you represent one of the minorities, and uh, unfortunately, woman is still minority. Other way, other thing, it's very nice, especially if you're non-tech, is to go to the tech trainings. I went to this TDD, Test Driven Development uh, uh, full day workshop when we were refactoring the code. I was shadowing a couple of my colleagues. I asked, like, can I go? I will not develop. I just want to feel the vibe uh, of it. And it, first of all, I was shocked how mind-consuming the uh, TDDs uh, and how much, what kind of environment actually needed. And secondly, of course, I got so many applause from my colleagues that a manager without tech 
on hands went to TDD workshop to support and learn more about it. And then, of course, you need to go to all the different trainings. One of my favorite uh, training um, places, CRISP, uh, it's in Stockholm. It's run by the guy who made uh, Henrik Nieberg, who've done Spotify trans transformation, and they always have very nice trainings. But I also want to say that, in, for example, in Visma, uh, we get money for the training. But for me, it's always not enough. I always want to spend more. And I notice that usually one salary per year goes on the trainings. And I think this is also important. If you have possibility to invest more and more, uh, you should do it. Because there will be maybe time when you will want to spend this money somewhere else. Yes, there are a lot of different conferences in uh, also Lithuania and Estonia where it's quite cheap to go and sometimes they're also for free. It's a good opportunity to explore because of course to go abroad it's uh, more expensive. And also do workshops in-house, organize things and uh, ask your developers to share more. And the third one, it's super important and it also was uh, uh, said today, we really need to invest in contributing and supporting uh, both communities and other people and also share more about ourselves uh, so everyone else sees that it's actually very colorful and exciting to work in IT. And this is the notes about what you can do to do sharing and caring. I think first of all, join and establish community of practices in your company. If you don't have it yet, choose your topic that you feel comfortable or you really want to learn and ask your colleagues who wants to join. Let's spend one lunch per week to discuss this topic. Or maybe let's stay after the work and do more hands-on. And then in a while show how this affected you and ask it to be also during the work time or maybe being sponsored by your company so you all can go somewhere. Uh, just prepare some kind of training course, send to everyone, like, I'm an expert in this topic, uh, who wants to listen? At least five people will apply, and you will have this training platform. Make the conference, we, uh, I'm making the conference in our company, it's called AHA Week, so like AHA Moment. Uh, it's uh, through the five days, each day we have a session, it's a conference organized by us for us. Uh, it's uh, when anyone can contribute with their topic to present. Again, very good platform for everyone else to speak uh, because I really want that there are more people from our company that go and speak. Um, yes, become a speaker at meetups, at the conferences. If you're afraid of the conferences, I, I am still. Uh, then use the meetups. They're more cozy and some more relaxed. Definitely mentor. And also think about valuable internships, because very often I still hear from students that they go to the companies, they spend the three months, six months, nine months, and I'm asking, okay, what you were doing? They actually haven't done any meaningful. And when you ask, okay, who was your mentor? Uh, no one, I spoke twice. I think like if you're in the company and you have a bit more time and energy, ask for the intern or in invest with him. Like give back to the society, give, so we have more better uh, competent uh, professionals uh, in future. Yeah, so as I, s I go a lot uh, to the universities and with the universities and schools, it's so easy. You now can contact your school or university, say that, okay, I'm working here and there and I can speak about this topic. They will all say, yes, please come. Because we were going to the Yelgavas Technicums with the different programs. They always wait for professionals to come uh, and share more. Riga Technical University is very open to guest lecturers. Schools um, also wait uh, for people to come and share about so what is the real uh, work uh, so the kids hear it uh, faster. Uh, yeah, so that's just the examples uh, of the, this is in Yelgavas Technicums. Uh, they have this uh, topic about uh, testing and they didn't have lecturer and they asked like, can you please come and speak about it? We said like, of course, why not? Uh, and this, we were doing the workshop, hands-on workshops with the guys uh, about the microservices. Uh, 
in terms, I really, I, I, I prefer having one or two, but uh, in a very uh, professional way handled. Uh, this is the one of the best developers uh, that I worked with. They're explaining about developing to the freshly. Uh, it's an 11th grade. We had interns from 11th grade. And this is the best audience that I had so far. I apologize. It's the fourth graders. They had this uh, week of uh, how to build your career. I was just like, at fourth grade, you already need to think about career. There's something wrong with our economics. And I wanted to describe them what is IT about. It was very interesting and creative uh, exercise. We even had programming task uh, for them. They were programming from uh, green color to red color. Uh, and um, they've got, they had so many questions. And then in the end, I asked, so will you come for work? It's like, yeah, we will do. Uh, and uh, the week after, I had the 10th graders. It's like 16 years old. Very tough audience. It's just like opposite. No questions. Super skeptical. And I said, oh my God, where, where you lost it? Where you lost it on the way? And that's why I think it's so important to go to schools, to share the stories, to sh explain the benefits of being person in, at work. Yeah, so this is uh, my suggestion to you. Invest as much as possible of your energy, time, uh, and money today so you have uh, exponential growth and brighter and more stable future. And what is uh, super cool that when you invest in competence, getting job done become faster. When you do more work, you have more time for competence. When you have uh, more time by contributing, you, uh, you all also boost your competence and also companies value uh, when you go and contribute so it's all very interconnected yes and in the end I changed the slide <laughs> it was at the first stated that I think that work should not be easy but it should be very interesting and excited uh, exciting but I changed it in a bit better because I really want to ask all of you especially the girls you need to understand in order to make a shift we need to invest. We need to make something more to gain the, uh, the respect. Yeah, so invest if you can today. Uh, so we have this shift. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Valeria. So do we have any questions for Valeria? Any hands? No questions. I have a quick question. So earlier in the presentation, you said something about exchanging time in a job just to get the salary and not go on that extra mile. If you had some advice for the employee just doing their nine to five and that's it, what would that advice be? And if you had to give one piece of advice to the employer employing that person just doing their nine to five job, what would that advice be? How to get them to get the job done and enjoy from both sides, from the employee and the employer? It's like how to motivate so it's not just the job done but by extra, but extra mile. Yeah, exactly, because I'm sure there are many, many reasons mm -hmm. why somebody's just there for their nine to five. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, I think there is nothing wrong with nine to five. That's why I showed is that if you want this exponential growth, because I was offered development uh, manager position just before turning the thir uh, 30, which is quite Im considered impressive. But I really invested and worked on that. I was staying uh, more time, I was contributing, I was learning a lot, I was investing my own money. I think there's nothing wrong with nine to five because you might have completely other priorities. That is, uh, you have hobby that you're super passionate about. My hobby is work. Uh, then uh, you, you might have kids, don't have kids yet. Uh, maybe you have some troubles at home where you actually need to be from uh, nine to five. And then you just need, okay, how I can invest those nine to five at best, thing, best possible way? And this is, no matter what, things needs to be done. You want to be associated with the done, then promise less, uh, but things needs to be done. Uh, and, uh, but in order to motivate people just to invest more, I think we need to sh 
show what you gain in exchange. As I said, I was working and flying quite a lot, and then for me it was okay to tell, okay, for one month I'm working from completely different uh, place. Uh, and I was allowed because uh, of the investment that was made before. The same uh, sometimes what companies do, when there is large conferences or the events, they also say, okay, we know those people who invest more in competence, and they always send them or they promote them. So I think like from employer perspective, you need to notice talents, you need to know their names, you need to use their names and uh, promote them more and also allow them to speak more and motivate uh, more and invest maybe more of their working time, not just of this uh, main responsibility you have, but those extra things. But with, pe with the, you as a person, just decide for yourself what you want. If you want to be superstar, you need to do a bit of extraordinary things. It will not happen just as regular thing. But if you don't, that's fine as well. So basically your reputation is on the line. What you do reflects yes. on you. So mm -hmm. yeah, that makes sense. Okay, Valeria, thank you so, so, so much. And yeah, round of applause. <laughs>